Uh, you know, as the clock ran out on the regular legislative session several weeks ago now, I said that 2011 was a colossal failure of leadership on the part of the Republicans. You know, little did I know that missed deadline was only the beginning. For the next six weeks, and we're now in the 19th day of shutdown, Republicans have failed to lead. They've stubbornly stuck to protecting millionaires so that they could, so far, they went so far to protect millionaires that they actually shut down our state. I certainly didn't know at that point, when session ended on May 23rd, that the only way would, we would be able to end this shutdown would be to enact what can only be described as the most irresponsible, bu irresponsible budget in our state's history. Uh, and this tax bill is at the heart of that. The fact is that this is a beg, borrow, and steal budget. It borrows and steals from Minnesota's future and begs the people of our state to look the other way as once again you simply kick the can down the road. So let's be very clear about what's happened as we've gotten to this point. It is the Republicans, and I know there's some confusion on your side of the aisle about this, but it is the Republicans who put tobacco bonds and the school shift on the negotiating table. This is a Republican proposal. It's a Republican budget for which you are responsible. Now we're gonna be taking up Representative Erdahl's legacy bill here shortly. But this bill, along with the school shift that we're going to be seeing in the education bill, is the real legacy of this Republican legislature. Leaving at least $4 billion in unpaid debts, nearly $1,000 per man, woman, or child in this state for the next legislature to fix. And it didn't have to be this way. The most ridiculous part of this is that fact. There is no real excuse for what the Republicans, what you, are doing in this budget your utter refusal to do your job and do it correctly. Because over 60% of the people in this state, a state you pledged to serve has said in multiple polls that they wanted the richest in our state to share in the budget balancing responsibility. You say that we can't tax job creators. That's been an excuse that's been repeated thousands of times uh, this session. But it flies in the face of fact or history. The thing that you're doing is raising the largest tax that businesses pay, the property tax, with this budget. You say businesses are going to leave the state, but we heard from small business owners all across the state, a small business owner in East Grand Forks, that said they are moving across the river, not because of business or income taxes, but because of property taxes. We heard from a Park Rapids Resort uh, owner who said that cutting LGA would be the worst thing that this legislature could do to their business. And guess what you're doing in this budget? You're cutting the one thing that those business said was critical for them to survive. The lengths to which this Republican majority will go to protect corporate special interests and the richest of the rich are astounding. Your budget forces the state to beg from seniors and the disabled with draconian budget cuts, to borrow money to temporarily fill in our deficit with one-time money, and to steal from our children's future by expanding the K-12 shift. The fact is you're standing for the wrong people. Middle class families are struggling in this state. They're paying more and more and getting less and less. But who did you choose to balance this budget on? Middle class families. That is not right. You also are balancing this budget on the backs of our children, our future. You borrow and spend and mortgage our future, all to preserve the facade that you're actually doing your job. Well, let's be clear, you didn't do your job this year because you were elected to serve the people of Minnesota and not just the richest few. You didn't do your job because you couldn't finish your work in the regular session. We're 19 days into government shutdown, the longest we've had in the history of this state. You didn't do your job because you shut down the state. You didn't do your job because you didn't protect people's interests. You decided to protect special interests. You didn't do your job because you didn't solve the problem. You begged, borrowed, and stole. That's not how we should be doing business in the state of Minnesota, members. You, you and this legislature have nothing to be proud of today. In fact, we have every reason to hold our heads in shame. We should vote no on this bill.